As we age, we can be faced with some pretty extreme challenges. One of them being a loss of mobility, which can end up really meaning a loss of your independence. Today though, we've traveled to Victoria to meet one very inspiring lady who has built a beautiful tiny house that's given her a completely new lease on life. Hello Mel. Hello Bryce. Lovely to meet you. And the same. What an absolutely beautiful home you have here. I have. <laughs> and it's all because of this wonderful woman standing next to you. Hi Fern, how are you? Good, thanks Bryce and yourself. Very well, thank you. Cool. Can you tell me a little bit about how this home came to be? Um, well, realising a dream for my mum. You know, my mum's getting, what do you call it, not older? No, a more mature age. More mature age, that's what we call it. Absolutely. Um, my mum was in a position where she was moving back to Victoria, where we live with this beautiful cold weather, and didn't want to go into something permanent and away from the family. So we took a journey and said, well, let's build you a tiny. We just finished building a tiny for a girlfriend. So we said, we'll build one for my mum. I didn't want to invest in a property. So when my daughter suggested a tiny house, I was very receptive. And then when she outlaid a design and how it would work, I jumped at it because it was ideal. I didn't want my retirement money tied up in a house that I had to upkeep and um, I don't want to live for a house. I want to enjoy one. And I am so thrilled that I jumped at that idea and things evolved from there until I end up with the Fernley which is ideal. Well it definitely is a very chilly day today isn't it? Yes it is. Yep. It is Bryce, move inside where it's warmer. Let's do that, thank you. This is so charming. What wonderful views you have from here. Yeah oh. it is good, the kangaroos in the morning isn't it mum, it's awesome. Oh, babies this morning. They like coming up saying hello, <laughs> kangaroos and the rabbits. One of the things that I immediately notice about this house is everything is just so accessible, isn't it? You've yes. got the ramp leading right up to this entranceway, because this is a completely different structure from the tiny house, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. And it's also built dismantable, so it would take a day for us to dismantle and then put things back together again. And it's still perfectly mature age. Okay. Accessible. Yes. Thank you. My mum, just being of that age where she's not getting more agile, she's getting less agile. So everything's built in, like the door frame is built into the frame of the tiny, so there's no trip hazard. Even going external, as you can see, the flooring going out to the veranda and then the certain grip on the tread. So mum's been in the house just over six months and she hasn't had a fall once. It's awesome. That is brilliant. And I don't even have to look at my feet when I'm walking anymore. <laughs> You can immediately see just how much of a well-designed and comfortable home this is, but I suppose the best thing about this situation is that you get to be so close together. And to a daughter. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not me, Bryce, it's the granddaughter. <laughs> Don't put my foot in it. <laughs> Being close to my family is very important. The grandchildren and great-grandchildren, they grow so quick. One minute they're babies and the next they're toddlers, the next thing they're going to school. So to have those childhood years and to have them know their grandmother, I think it's very important to me and I think it is important to them. It is all important being close to family. Mum's living in a tiny house, yes, but with the extended space, on a Friday evening, you know, the extended family come and it's just a comfortable place to be. It's just a space that we all just come to. So what are the dimensions of this home? The tiny is 7.2 by 2.5 wide. So it would be what you'd say the atypical size in Australia. And then the veranda is the same length, 7.2, but by 3.2 wide. And then there's a gap between the veranda and the tiny to meet regulations. But then we board that up. So we've got screws where we board that up and there's three flashings. So there's flashings on either side and on the roof and then that seals it. And do you find that you're spending more time inside the tiny house or more time here in this room? More time in this room because of my craft room. I like the Fernley neat, whereas I can spread out in here. 
Like I wouldn't dream of taking my craft work in there and messing up my beautiful, beautiful home. <laughs> but normal day-to-day -day living, I leave it out and make an awful mess. <laughs> but not in the Fernley. So the Fernley Bryce is what mum has christened her home. So myself, daughter, um, the baby being Fern and my elder sister being Leander or Lee. So mum christened the home Fernley. Oh, that's yes. lovely. So before we check out inside the Fernley, can you tell me about this patio area? Yes, so what was important to mum was having options. So having an option that if we sold the farm or did something to the farm, that her capital investment wasn't in something that was in bricks and mortar, invested in the ground here. So with the extended veranda here, or the patio, we built it in such a way that it is dismantable. So we can take this apart. We've done the insulation on the inside this winter to see how it went for the winter, whether we need to plaster it or not. But the insulation's been awesome this winter, so it's been fine. We've just put perspex on the ends to help enclose, but still have that aspect of looking out. And on the front, there's three big areas here you can see. We've got a cafe blinds and then fly screens. So if you've got the cafe blind and the fly screen, in an evening it provides that insulation. And then we've got the option of having the cafe blinds down, looking out, or in an evening or on a hot day, mum can have the fly screens down, have the air coming through, but without the insects that we have here in Australia. Yes. And what's extra clever about that is this one here on the end is actually motorised as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. So having that more mature aspect in mind, having things that are push button or easy to use with the hands. So four of the blinds, the cafe blinds and the fly screens are all manual lift and close. And then the one at the end, as you have said, we've got that on a motorised. So mum can just push a button and it can go up and down. Well, can we go inside the Fernley and take a look? Absolutely, yeah, come inside Mum. This is beautiful. It is lovely isn't it Bryce, we just love it. It's quite modern as well with the finishing on the walls. Yes, designing for your mother is no different designing to any client. Sitting down and asking where have you lived before that you like, what is it that you liked about that, what's the feeling you want. And Mum wanted something to pop, like something that had a bit of shine or a shimmer to it but also the timber look and the open sort of space. So we did a combination of the cedar windows and the big expansive sort of windows and an e-glass. So it's an e-glass rather than double glaze. And then we used the Luca Bond. So a Luca Bond is a commercial product used on the external of a lot of um, buildings, but we've brought it inside here. And so it's a Luca Bond wall covering and it's a standard framing. Like we've done a 90 by 45 framing, standard house insulation, and we've got insulation under the floor in the walls and the ceiling. We've got a solid base trailer and we raised the floor above the wheel arches. So completely flat. So what we built here, we don't have to deal with that complexity of where's the wheel arch. And then can you tell me a little bit about the way that you've designed this home? So we've got underfloor heating and it only takes about $30 a week to run. And it's no different than doing a small bathroom or a small bedroom. And it keeps that ambient temperature for mum. And particularly, you know, when you're walking around, if your feet are warm, particularly when you're older, if your feet are warm, you can sort of deal with everything. And it's got a non-slip um, floor, which is actually built particularly for bathrooms, but we've built it throughout the tiny home. And everything's soft touch. So whether it be the cabinetry, the doors, the age-specific bathroom where it's got the toilet specifically made for older people to get up and down from the toilet. And then with the shower, we've got a non-slip vinyl floor, a shower seat and then specific railing and just putting in extra noggins and everything so you've got your hand railing so if mum ever does need to grab onto the railing it's all very secure. We wanted to have a bed that went up and down for mum that went away during the day so again mum didn't have to deal with a Murphy bed in the wall or a loft where climbing up stairs and steps was not you know not an option for us or having something permanent out was not an option. Mum is with many people of her generation. You know, if you have people into your home space, you don't want them to see your bed. So what we've done here, Bryce, is the lift bed. So it runs off a 12 volt battery and it has a channel that goes up through the wall and then just sits up on the ceiling during the day and then comes down at night. And then all the cabinetry behind it, if I could show you the yeah, cabinetry. Yeah, absolutely. I'll just show the cabinetry. So with the cabinetry, Bryce, everything is all soft touch. So everything and craft work and clothing and DVDs and then extra storage for pantry or the like. And then this has got storage all underneath it as well, as well as pull out drawers for everything here. 
So mum has found that she's got more storage in this space than what she had basically in one of her, you know, two of her rooms in her old house. This door here slides along and then it comes up to a table. So mum can sit there with her computer or her dinner and have that or have it away for the space so it's not, you know, running into that in the middle of the evening. Very, very clever. Now, when it comes to the bed, do you find that okay to get in and out of? Because it's still quite high, isn't it, when that comes down? Yeah, I'm still able to hop up there, no problem. But Fern is having a step made for it to make it easier. And uh, when I'm a bit more mature, I might need it. And I can see you've actually got a, a skylight up oh, there as well. I love my skylight. The night of the eclipse, it was just absolutely fantastic how wonderful and then the kitchen area behind us here so we've purpose built that again bryce to mum's requirement so the bench is lowered so it's easy for mum to navigate and, and cook and everything at and with most tinies you'll have the gas hob top what we've chosen with mum is induction for safety so if mum takes the pot off that it automatically switches off so it's got that safety element to it and the oven's got a safety switch on it and it's also got a safety off timer on the oven as well. One of the things mum loves and she's, she's pointing out here Bryce mm -hmm. is the tap. The water nozzle comes out and mum can use it for washing the dishes, the vegetables and it's quite a large sink so whether it be vegetables or cleaning or anything mum can sort of like move things around which is good for her. And so what about the accessibility in here? So accessibility, Bryce, what we've done here again with mums has made it so in the future if mum needs to use a wheelchair, it's all wheelchair accessible. At the moment, mum will use a walker every now and again, every odd day that she's not feeling 100%. And we've done it so that mum can get the walker in through the kitchen and into the bathroom space and in all of her living area. So it's all what we say age disability friendly with the ease of access for things with your hands and then being able to get a walker and a wheelchair through. I suppose more than anything, one of the best things about this home is that you're able to be completely independent here, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. Quite different from living in the um, home I had in Little C, which was a beautiful home, but it was three level and I did need help to maintain it. The home has given me more independence because I like to be completely independent and I don't need to be dependent on anyone. I don't need anyone coming in to help me share or anything because it's all so beautifully laid out for me especially. I don't need anyone to come in and clean for me because it's so easy to do myself. And I haven't got a whole day doing housework, which I hate because it only takes me half an hour but the independence it gives me with the tininess of it and yet every single thing that I had in a four bedroom home, everything is so easy to use, so easy to clean, so easy to live in, more than easy, it's a joy. So what would you say right now your absolute favorite thing about living here is? Everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything, my favourite thing. They're all favourites. Bryce, you're asking me a very hard question. I love the underfloor heating. I love the openness, the safety, the security. I tell my daughter, who has designed it for me and so beautifully, that it's my little bit of heaven best present she's ever given me. It's the scenery, the kangaroos, and the rabbits. They keep distracting me from my craft work, but very pleasurably. The experiences I'm getting living here and being able to live here in such safety and security is just that little bit of heaven. So what do I love best? Oh, Bryce, it would be hard to say. Everything. And what about the cost of this setup? 
So the tiny itself was $85,000 to build. The extension area was about 15,000. And then the blinds, they were the high quality end blinds, so they're like six, $7,000 for those. So if you take the 85, the 15, 16, and then the seven or eight, that's the construction costs. And then what we did, we did some excavation for the site. So all up out of pocket, it's been about 140, $150,000 out of pocket. And that's with all the garden beds, everything. But what's really priceless is the quality of life that this has given you, isn't it? Absolutely, that is exactly it. The days just aren't long enough, and I want years and years of it, thank you. To be on the property here, the spaciousness and the openness of having nobody around me is just terrific. It is tranquility, beauty, and with the family close, it's just a dream, which without the wee tiny house I couldn't have had. Well, you are such a beautiful soul, and this is such a wonderful home, and it's so great to see the way that the family has come together to make this a reality. Thank you so much for sharing your wonderful Thank home you, with me. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Bryce. Thank you. I Bye. love sharing my beautiful home. <laughs> I love people coming to have a look at it. I bet. And I really appreciate you doing so. Thank you very much. This is a very cleverly designed home. There has been so much attention put into each and every detail to make sure that this is a place where Mel can be completely cozy, completely warm, but most of all, completely independent. Here in these walls, Mel needs to rely on absolutely nobody. And that is what makes this place truly a home.